Hey guys, KK4PYN here. I want to make a real quick video just to show you the progress on my latest project here. Um, build a new power supply for my Commodore 64. And um, I've got the old black brick here. This is a sealed and potted unit. Um, I've got a couple Commodore 64, so I need <clears throat> another power supply, and I know those are real prone to just going bad, so decided to put one together here. Um, still waiting for the uh, seven pin DIN plug to come in from Newark, but right now I've got five volt DC out here and nine volt AC out here. Uh, I'll show you the parts I use. This is a Okura LP347 18 volt 2 amp transformer. Um, obviously 18 volts, 9 volts on each leg. And then this is a adjustable power supply kit which I'll show you here. Um, it's normally an LM317. I've got an LM350 in there because it handles 3 amps. And I'll probably put a heat sink on that. Um, this is just an old small, like a mini ATX power supply. Uh, I might hook the fans up if I have a problem with heat. I doubt I will. But it's nice because it's got a power switch. So um, voltages look real good. Um, you can adjust this power supply to any voltage you want. Right now, I got it set at like 5.1 volts. Um, I did that versus the fixed so that I could get a better result. Uh, let me show you what I'm using. Uh, Sorry for the crappy video, it was really quick and impromptu. Uh, this is the power supply kit that I'm using from vakits.com. I've done a lot of business with them. They're here local in Florida. Their prices are very good. And this is their adjustable power supply kit. Number 1725, $8. Shipping's pretty reasonable. You can get it built and tested if you want for 13. And like I said, I just subbed out the LM317 for an LM350. Um, if you don't want the adjustable, they do sell a 2 amp fixed for $10 or 5 volts, number 5358. Um, the nice thing about these kits is that they are. AC or DC input. It's got a full wave bridge rectifier built in. Uh, just four diodes, but and they're really simple to put together. The transfer that I'm using transformers from Marlin P. Jones. Stock number 27843TR. Um, assuming this is going to be enough amperage, but it's eight bucks. And uh, that's the specification on it right there. Shipping is reasonable with them too, like five bucks. But I get a lot of stuff from them, so. Like I said, I'm just waiting for my um, connector from Newark and a couple other parts. And uh, we'll get that together for you. But if you have any questions, leave um, you know a comment. And I'd be happy to share more information with you. I have not tried this out yet, so once I try it out, I'll let you guys know how it works <clears throat> and also from that same company I bought this little LM380 amp kit which is nice because it's got an RC input so I can take the input right from the C64 uh, I was using one of these little Radio Shack ones but this works pretty good I just got one of these little flat speakers deals I'm gonna put this inside the box sounds really good on the C64 so but there you go that's um that's it let me give you a closer look here focus you can see the four diodes down there it's a bridge rectifier um, so yeah it works pretty good so far anyway the voltages are good
hopefully the will give me enough power for the Commodore 64. So I do love my Commodore. <laughs> Just always works. Boots way faster than any <laughs> any modern computer. So all right guys, thanks for watching. Questions leave them in the comments. And uh, stay tuned for more.